get into the word from Pastor Kwame. Praise be to God. The Bible says we serve a dependable God. Amen. He is reliable. He is dependable. He is consistent. Father, we love you on today. We give you glory. We give you praise for who you are, for the things that you are able to do in our lives. And this day, as we come together, we are saying that our eyes are on you. The Bible commands us that when we pray, we ought to say, give us this day our daily bread. I provide for, the Bible says, I provide for uh, even the sparrow and my eyes watched over you. May the eyes of God watch over you, your children, your going out and your coming in. You know, together we are going to win this. Together we are going to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. If God did not want you, he wouldn't create you. You are needed, you are necessary, you are important. May the Lord himself show himself to you and reveal the purpose and the plan that he has for your future. He says, I know the plan I have for you, not of evil, but of good to bring you to an expected end. Child of God, stay in faith and see how many things God will do in your life. Amen. Let me work on my assignment today. This is a good day. Praise God. We want to attack setting elements against us. In the book of Nehemiah, chapter 4, the verse number 3b to 4a, Nehemiah, the latter portion of, uh, of I mean, the chapter 4, the latter portion of verse 3 into the first portion of verse 4. The Bible says, uh, this is the Tobiah speaking here. Sambalat has talking his non, I mean, has spoken his nonsense already. And now this is Tobiah who says, now, that stone wall would collapse if even a fox walked along the top of it tobiah says that stone wall that nehemiah is trying to build he cursed the wall and says even if a fox walks on it it will collapse then nehemiah said then i prayed hear us our god for we are being mocked May their scoffing fall back on their own hurts. Today, I came to talk to you about we are neutralizing negative words over our destinies. Neutralizing negative words over our destinies. Hallelujah. I came to talk to you about the need to cancel certain the declarations and decrees that has been spoken against your children spoken against your life spoken against the things that you are doing now here is how we set up the stage for what god wants you to hear today now nehemiah if you are aware of biblical um characters nehemiah is not your usual guy he's a unique leader he he is a great guy he's an awesome person when it comes to organizing leadership motivation and also casting out vision and implementation he is your guy but the thing i want you to understand is that anytime your life is at the lowest level now i want you to hear me and hear me clearly anytime your life is at the lower level people build their life around you so when you want to elevate yourself you make enemies by by default and so so the 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 the, the, build, the the building of the wall of jerusalem is something that will make other people your enemy I want you to hear me and hear me clearly. Anytime you want to pick up yourself and do better in life, some people will become your enemy just because now you are about to do better. And the first kind of enemies are people that you are going to do better than. Anybody. Now, let me share a little history with you. Um, The struggle of the African-American race in, in America has the same connotation. When you are when you are in the ghetto, when you are in the in the place of struggle with your fellow brothers and sisters, um, you are you are a homie, you are a brother. But when you begin to elevate yourself, they hate you not because uh, they hate you not because um, you are still not a brother, but they hate you because you are leaving them. You are it's the things that you are leaving us. And that is the pain with which people begin to now fight you because you are leaving them. It's real. A brother can fight you. A sister can fight you. A close friend can fight you because you are leaving them. And so Nehemiah is now about to change the outlook of Israel. And Sambalat and Tobias and the other people that wanted them to stay low. 
Now, when you stay low, you have less enemies. I wonder if anybody is an enemy of a homeless person except the devil himself. But the point I'm making is that so long as you are a visionary, so long as you're a person that wants to go back to school, so long as you're a person that wants to do with your life, all your friends will split some will be sad for you some will be happy for you and those who are sad they are sad because you are leaving them and because of that they will fight you i came to speak to you that if you are a man of destiny a woman of destiny there are a lot of people that are secretly saying negative things about your life a lot of people that wish that you don't do well that is why they don't celebrate you when you do well because they are quietly watching they are not happy that you are going that fast they are not happy that you are doing well they are watching and singing and and in their heart and mind they are saying things against you but i came as a servant of the most i go to declare that oh god hear us and begin to de- de- declare that god every word spoken against my life every word spoken against my destiny every word spoken against my children i declare a nullification you have to nullify it when Sambalat spoke, when Tobiah spoke, Nehemiah spoke. You got to speak. They will say, you will die. You will say, I will not die. You have to say, I will not die. They will say, this will collapse. You have to say, let it fall back on them. There must be a continuous declaration. I want you to assume that they are talking about you. But notice Nehemiah, when they talk about you, don't talk about them. When they talk about you, talk to God. Hallelujah. He says, then I prayed. Hear us, our God, Gidasta, for we are being mocked. May their scoffing fall back on their own heads. I declare in the name of just any person, relative or non-relative, friend or neighbor, who has spoken any scoffing words against your destiny, may their words fall back on them. Who has spoken that you will not succeed? Who has spoken that you will not make it? Who has spoken Ali Bata? I confess with my mouth today that every negative word against your life is reversed. In the name of Jesus, you shall not not be a byword, neither shall you be a proverb, for you shall be what God has said for you to be. I prophesy with my eyes open that the things God has prepared for you, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man, the things God has designed for you, but I come to declare by the Spirit of God that these are beautiful things, for I hear the Lord say, in this time you will make all things beautiful, for as many as have spoken against you, say yes the Lord, I speak words of life, for in the beginning darkness and chaos was upon the face of the deep and i said let there be light and there was light i pronounce light into every negative word i pronounce light into your destiny light into your feet light into your future in the name of jesus you will make it in jesus might you will make it you will make it you will build the wall and finish it up hallelujah every word that has been spoken against you whether you were guilty or you were not guilty, today on this Wednesday, we reverse it in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that has been said, oh, they have said a lot, trust me. They have said a lot. Oh, but the Bible says, oh God, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Oh God, turn their words into foolishness. Anything they have said in secret, today we expose it in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. I don't know what they have said. I don't know what they have said, but let me begin to declare this over your life. Some of us, they have said that we will forever be vagabonds. Some of us, they have said we will forever be loose and give our bodies to just anybody. And you know something? Let me let me get deeper. Sometimes they make up stories about us and they speak it with their mouth. 
What this verse is teaching is that whatever comes out of the mouth must be something that hangs in the in the air. And it hangs in the air and the enemy takes it and he uses it because where's our seeds? He uses it to plant things in our lives. Sometimes even the world who understands nothing about spirituality, there's a psychological word called self-fulfilling prophecy. That means that anything that you voice over and over again, they think and they know that it happens. I declare that some of us, there has been a label of divine negativity that has been put against our lives. And this label are making argument against our lives. In the supernatural name of Jesus Christ, I declare a new label, a label of righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. And I place upon your life in the name of Jesus. Arise and shine in the name of Jesus. For thy light has come and the glory of Elohim is risen upon you. I speak that you shall not be a lazy person. I speak that you shall not be a weak person. I speak that you shall have stamina. You shall have the power to finish. The power to finish. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Whatever they have said about you, I unsay it for you. I nullify it for you. Your church will not collapse. Your marriage will not collapse. Your children will not collapse. Your life will not collapse. In Jesus' mighty name. You will stand and you will win. I said you will stand and you will win. In the name of Jesus, receive this blessings today. For the Lord has the final say. In Jesus' name, amen.